Um, my name is Alex Panapresso. I'm a senior and I'm a communication arts and science major and I'm dancing with Zeta Tau Alpha with Alpha Tau Omega. Zeta Tau Alpha and Alpha Tau Omega have been together for 26 years now. Um, we've been the top fundraising org for 21 years and we have four found children, Robbie, Tucker, Zach, and Kai. Um, but yeah, we've worked together really well. We all are a huge family and we really enjoy working together for such a great cause. Um, coming in freshman year, I had seen canners, but I honestly had no idea what they were doing. Um, I heard it was for a dance marathon, so I thought it was like fundraising a party. I had no idea. So coming in, um, my cousin had told me to get involved with Thon. And so I looked into it, and I, I really just liked getting to know people and the fact that we were meeting people. And then as I got more involved, I started to understand it more. And then I met our families, which really is just how I fully immersed myself in Thon and got involved even more. Um, from the start, I didn't think it was tangible because there's so many people in our organization, but I just always thought, you know, that'd be great to do, but just wanted to get involved in any way I could. And then junior year, um, I went abroad. So I wasn't there for Thon. I really missed out on it. And I was deciding to run for Thon chair. And as I was talking to all the previous chairs and dancers, them just describing their experience was amazing. And I had the experience of the final four hour pass my sophomore year to compare to, which I'll take down as one of the best memories I have in college. Just like being with all the families and the emotional impact and seeing that what we do really affects so many people and really does make a difference. So like all the combined experiences I had once I started talking to people who had danced, since they were there for like longer than just the four hours I was there, that's when I really wanted to dance. I think I'm just really looking forward to like accomplishing the 46 hours, like saying that, you know, all my effort, I can do this. And like just being able to get through those 46 hours because I'm so passionate about the cause and because it is such a great experience to have. Um, well, I haven't drank caffeine in a couple of weeks, um, trying to get in the best shape possible. And honestly, trying not to think about the 46 hours, but like just the amount of adrenaline that I'll be having and how much fun I always have at Thon with everyone around me and like everyone else's energy. So I'm trying to look at all the excitement that will be around it. Um, so I really like that it's igniting hope within. I love the emphasis on hope. I mean, when you get to know your families, you get to talk to them. There really is so much hope when they're getting to know you, talking to you. Like when I talk to um, the Sanborns, one of our uh, Thon child's parents, you could just tell that they're so appreciative and we give them hope by fundraising all the time and just putting our best effort out there. And it's just really nice to know that we're doing something for other people. And it just puts in perspective that, you know, as college students, we look at our homework and all our little stresses and our, I have anxiety about that. But then when I speak to them and these people who really do need that hope, it just puts in perspective that like we should appreciate each day and do everything we can to help the people who need our help. I mean, with the Thon children, I think that's why we do the 46 hours to kind of relate that the 46 hours we do is nothing compared to how much they go through with their treatment and just with not knowing what news is going on. And when the children are with us and just seeing them fight and having fun with us and just going and tackling every day as just a new day, it's really great to see their courage. And I love seeing that and then trying to put those 46 hours of my own courage to relate to them. And I just think that's a great thing to have. And I think that courage will help them grow up into being great human beings. So it's a good, even though it's a horrible thing that they're going through, the life experience that they get from it will just, it will affect them well if they take this courage and keep going with it throughout their life. I'm just excited for the weekend. And I don't know, I'm excited for all the energy of everyone, all the excitement after this whole long, effort that we've had this year. You know, I hope it just turns out to a great fun weekend.